Okay guys, so we have our new HKS blow valve that just came in. And what should we be looking for in a real HKS blow valve? Okay guys, if you want to look for authentic HKS product, I suggest you look at authorized distributor. And as you can see, this is from Juku Racing and they are an authorized distributor you can check it out on their website and i took my name address off so you won't come and steal my stuff so <laughs> don't be butt hurt about it all right guys and uh authentic hks product of course you can tell the box is nice it's not some cheap box that somebody made and one of the signs i look for is the bottom is white a lot of the fakes that i've seen online that is black when you look at the serial number it's going to match and on the actual ball valve wow, that's what it is 475009 and just look at that hks it's nice clear detail your hks you got your R copyright and of course you want to look for the 10 bolts that holds it together and of course as everyone stated before you got four fins instead of just one there it is one more thing you can look for is these two plates right as you can tell it's not smooth so now if we go over here and look at this one that I got installed which I wouldn't say it's a fake HKS because it's not advertised as a HKS if you look at that blog right there it says SQV instead of HKS so it's more of a imitator a copycat but if you look at the two flanges right here it's smooth it's not like your HKS where you can feel that so that's one thing to look for all right let's check out the hardware of course you're gonna have your inline filter which a lot of your imitators and comic cats gonna have anyway so it's not really something I really pay attention to but when you look at your T connection you can see it says HKS on it okay a lot of your fakes and imitators not gonna have that they're just gonna go to the hardware store and throw in a T connector you're gonna have your o-ring seal of course your straps but when you look at this that's a stainless steel clip it's not a cheap clip the one that's installed on the car now it's a regular clip that you could basically find anywhere and it's coated black this one is actually stainless steel it's real nice and if you zoom up on it you can see there's a taper at the end it's not flat all the way across. There's a slight taper at the end. And that makes ins installation a whole lot easier. So those are stuff you look for. All right, one more thing that you should receive with a real HKS product is the hardware came in a sealed bag. As you can see, it's not Ziploc. A lot of the fake and a lot of the imitators, all they do is go to a hardware store and pick these things up and put it in a Ziploc bag. And that's what you get but as you can see I cut it on the side as you can see that that bag is sealed that tells you that it's a real HKS product and we gonna hold on to all this stuff we're gonna keep the box and all the stuff we have here so if you have any questions leave it on the comments and we'll do our best to help you guys out by comparing it to this and comparing what you have to what we have so just leave it in the comments and we'll get back to you.
imitator, the fake, well, not the fake, but the copycat HKS. The reason why I don't like it because that low boost, there's a, you can still hear the turbo surge and you can hear that flutter sound. And some people like it, I don't like it, so. because I did and I also got me a brand new HKS blow valve if you guys subscribe and tune in I'm gonna install this on our next video thank you for our uncle Tom for giving us such great information and if you guys have any question put it down in the comment below we'll be more than happy to answer to all of you guys